Hi, fifth graders. Um, your assignment um, for the end of this week is going to be to write a preposition poem. And um, I have a little notebook here for you, and there's several different choices of poetry to choose from. You can choose to do all of them for enrichment, but I'm only requiring that you do two poems, one of them being the preposition poem, and you can choose out of the other ones which one you want to do. Um, out of the two that you do, I would like one of them to be for your mom, a grandma, or a special caregiver, as you can see here. Um, each poem should at least be six lines long. You can see for some of them it's asking for definitely more than that, um, but at least that gives you a little bit of a guideline because I know that's going to be one big question you guys ask. Um, I hope you have fun with this. I so miss seeing every single one of you, um, but you're doing an awesome job during this distant learning. So I just want to go over a couple little things here. So you have the poetry notebook here. Um, this next slide shows you um, what preposition poetry looks like, and you should all know from doing the IXL activities what a prepositional phrase is. Um, how every line begins with a proposition and ends with a noun. I have an example here. I have 40 different common propositions to choose from over on this side. Oh, oops. And then on the next page, you're actually going to write your proposition poem there. And I will be able to see it when you're done with it if, if you turn it in to me. If you're in view and then you turn in through Google Classroom, I should be able to see it. Um, so that's one you have to do. And there's another poem in alliteration poet, poetry, which we've actually talked about through some of our figurative language this year. An alliteration poem is when you repeat the beginning consonant sounds of words to create similar sounds in the pattern. And you can see there's an example there. On the next page, you would write your own. And then the DeMonte poetry is an unrhymed seven line poem. The beginning and ending lines are the shortest while the lines in the middle are longer, giving De Monte poems a diamond shape, so it's like a shape poem. Um, here's the format, here's an example, and you can write the next, uh, if you choose to do that one, you could do it there. Now it doesn't need to be a diamond, so you can choose the shape that you want. Um, a limerick poem. Uh, limerick poems are silly poems with five lines. They are often funny or nonsense. Lines one, two, and five usually rhyme, and lines three and four rhyme with each other. And there's an example there. And you would write the your limerick poem on this page. You could choose to do um, the I am poetry, which actually you would just choose right there. Anytime it says I am, you're going to actually write the same thing. So here it says I am, you would write the exact same thing. And also down here. Um, so there's just one page for that. The next one is a sens sensory poetry. Um, this uses all five senses, hearing, sight, taste, touch, and smell. We've worked a little bit with that this year, sensory descriptions and, and our writings and, and other little riddles we did. Um, they answer questions like what color, what does it taste like, what does it smell like, what does it look like, what does it sound like, and what does it feel like? And there's an example of a poem titled Happiness. And here's where you would write your example. And you're actually going to choose your topic. So you could pick whatever you want for any of these, um, except for one of them. I do want to be focused on your mom, whatever one you pick, or a caregiver. Um, this one is called an acrostic poetry. These are the ones you're probably most familiar with, where you pick a word. So acrostic poems use the letter in a topic word to begin each line. All lines of the poem should relate to or describe the poem. So they give you one for just a simple sun. I know I, here I said six lines. You can adjust if you have a shorter name and you want to do your name, but I like how they give more than just one word. So like S, shines brightly in the sky, up, high above the clouds, nice and warm on my skin. So it's a little bit longer. And then there's where your acrostic poetry would go. Um, this one, this last one, I believe, is a, it's called I Wish Poetry. It consists of each line of the poem beginning with the words, I wish, followed by your ideas. And this poem is usually 8 to 10 lines long, and there's a good example there for you. And then you would choose to write your poem there. Again, you need to write two, one being the preposition one, since that's our focus in grammar this week. And you can choose one of the others. 
and one of the two need to be for a special caregiver for Mother's Day. And um, if you, again, if you want to do all of them, that can be your enrichment. I would love to read them. Again, you guys are doing a great job. I so miss you guys. Um, hopefully you're all doing well during this time. So good luck.